This is M7 BYD, uh, Keith in Medifield in County Durham. Um, welcome to the M7 newly licensed net on the Freestar Network. Uh, before the net commences, I will ask, as is customary, if there is any emergency or priority traffic. If so, please go ahead now. Okay, nothing heard. Uh, once again, I'm Keith, and I am M7BYD, and I am the host of the M7 New License Net, uh, which takes place this time every Sunday on the Freestar Network. Uh, before I go any further, I'm, I'm, I've got to say I'm, I take great pleasure uh, in saying that I'm proud to be hosting the M7 New License Net uh, as part of the week-long Freestar Network's first birthday celebrations. Uh, a big shout out to Shane, Bruce and Oscar, uh, whose achievements have made the Freestar Network as fantastic as it is today. Uh, please take the time, uh, if you haven't already, uh, to visit the Freestar International and Freestar UK Facebook pages, um, where you can see uh, what's on offer this week. So, uh, the net is to encourage those who are newly licensed, uh, but all grades of amateur radio licenses from all parts of the world are very welcome to join us. Uh, the idea is for those who call in who are experienced on the microphone may be able to give hints or tips to those who might not have confidence to, to push the PTT. Uh, so, if you do have any tips, please share them. Uh, as always, we do welcome uh, long overs, I'll just take a pick. M7BYD. As always, we do welcome long overs, but um, please be mindful that the repeaters have a three-minute timeout. Uh, so please, can you take a break, as I just have, uh, mid-over to allow the repeaters uh, to reset. Uh, also, can you please leave a, a three-second gap after teeing up and before speaking, and a three-second gap when you've finished your over before releasing the key, so we don't miss any of your over. Um, the M7 new license net is very easy going, uh, and to encourage everyone to join in, uh, we have a topic each week uh, that you might want to be involved in, but, but you don't have to, because no pressure. Not what this net's all about at all. Uh, if you just want to call in, say your call sign, name, and short time, then Gareth, uh, GM0WUR, who's been kind enough to be netlogger this evening, will put your name in the log. Um, if you do want to join in, we have a topic this evening. Uh, firstly, of course, uh, if you wouldn't mind, tell me how you are this evening. Uh, did you have a good Christmas? Um, and the actual topic, what was your inspiration to become a radio amateur? Uh, what was that first spark that interested you in being able to communicate with people all over the world? Um, I'm really looking forward to everyone's comments. Um, on opening tonight's net, I'm going to ask, if, please, if the M7 or Foundation license holders uh, could come first. Uh, then I'll open the net to everyone. Um, could I please ask that you speak slowly with your call sign, your name, and your location? So this is M7 BYD, Keith in County Durham, on the Freestar Network, M7 newly licensed net, taking check-ins. Please call in now. Well, I'm not newly licensed, but I'll call in. Mike Six, Papa, Papa Sierra, name is John, down at Great Ayrton, uh, just south of Middlesbrough. Mike Six, Charlie, Mike Golf, M6, CMG, Mick, City of Lincoln. This is M7BYD. Um, thank you for calling in. Um, we do have uh, M6 Papa Papa Sierra, John, uh, M6 CMG, Mick, 
Um, and of course, uh, first of all, we do have our um, netlogger this evening, uh, who's uh, contributed greatly to the Freestar Network. And uh, um, that's Gareth, and Gareth is GM0WUR. So I'll go to the top of the list now, if I may. And uh, here, if you have any comments on, the, on tonight's topic, and let me know how you are, Gareth, please. Looking forward to hearing what you've got to say, mate. Over to you, a GM0 WUR. This is M7BYD. M7BYD from GM0 WUR. Uh, very good evening to you, Keith. Um, yeah, it's lovely to be able to be on uh, the M7 uh, newly licensed net. That's all as well, and that you've been, uh, enjoyed. The, uh, the first part of the holiday festivities uh, that uh, have been going on. So, uh, but lovely to have you on the net. And yeah, I really like your topic tonight. Actually, uh, the one you know, what was it that inspired you to become uh, a radio amateur? Um, and I got to admit, for me, um, <laughs> obviously it was partly a family project. So you could partly say it was my dad. Um, but the uh, the thing was. What got me into radio was I was just interested in finding out what it was like around the world for different people. Um, I, I was really into my geography uh, as a kid and had a gigantic world map on my bedroom wall and everything. And so I was fascinated about what you know cultures were like and what the weather was like in different parts of the world and everything. Um, and I suppose even just the sheer novelty that you know it could be daytime for us and yet you know there was this communications medium out there that meant I could be talking to somebody that for them it's the middle of the night um, you know it sort of it, it, I suppose it brings a whole new realisation to you know just how big or depending on your point of view how small our little planet can be <laughs> so that was that was kind of what got me interested in it um, and uh, then of course as I was uh, studying from a radio uh, well, at the time, uh, somebody uh, <laughs> probably gave me one of the best bits of encouragement. Uh, they told me all about satellite amateur radio, uh, space communications and stuff, and, uh, and weather satellites. And, uh, oh boy, did that get my attention. And uh, so I got really involved in that, um, as well as uh, packet radio, uh, which back then uh, was quite a big thing with, uh, down in Somerset, where I was from. Um, not so much anymore. But, uh, you know, all the, the hobbies do change. I'll just take a pip because I know I'm running out of time there. Uh, GM0WUR continuing. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of what got me in the hobby. It was the, the interest in global communications, you know, being able to speak to the world just from this you know, little radio and antenna. Uh, that's the fascination. And... I mean, what got me back into the hobby uh, of more recent times um, has been the advent of the new technologies. Um, I'm a bit of a technology geek. Well, that's kind of an understatement, actually. Uh, <laughs> I'm a technology geek. And, uh, you know, learning about uh, things like network radios and stuff and what was being done there. Uh, and obviously that, you know, I found out about All Star and from that Freestar, etc. Um, so the use of technology... Uh, is kind of what got me back into the hobby. Um, I think there can be, uh, I, I will caveat by saying can, be a misconception uh, of uh, amateur radio as a hobby, that uh, it's an old hobby and, uh, you know, it's it's that people out there with great big mast antennas, you know, things the size of a football field and, you know, Morse keys by candlelight almost. <laughs> and... Um, you know, whilst, yep, you know, you name it, any kind of communications mode and equipment you want to do, it is there. Um, but there's also all this sort of interesting, uh, I'll say high technology side to the hobby, uh, which is really, really good fun. Uh, and certainly having things like the Freestar Network, to which we'll say happy birthday, Freestar, uh, I certainly, certainly, certainly opens up a whole new world uh, to the hobby. And uh, I mean, it's but certainly, if I just take within my own family, uh, with my wife, Helen, um, seeing what Freestar was about, being able to hear all the different networks and, you know, everybody from around the world just being able to chat to each other and have a laugh 
Um, it certainly changed her opinion of things, uh, sufficiently so that she is now going to be going for her foundation license exam. I've now found out. Uh, she's going for it in the start of the year. So, fingers crossed. And uh, there we go. Right, I'll pass it back to you, Keith. M7BYD, GM0WUR. Back to you, mate. Zero W U R M seven B Y D. What a great contribution! Um, I knew it would be Gareth, but uh, that was a lot of interesting information there uh, that you you told me. I knew that you would have had an initial um, sort of inspiration, if you like, um, with with, uh, with with your dad and uh, in, in the hobby. Um, but you've progressed it to yourself with your own interests because you have to have an interest in them in the hobby of one form or another, and there are different facets to anybody listening, again, who is newly licensed. That's what this net is all about. Listen to those who are experienced, who can perhaps guide you, perhaps suggest areas that you might be interested in or want to be involved with. So um, input like that uh, is brilliant. Um, so yeah, quite right, the various cultures, uh, the possibility of being able to Communicate around the world. It's uh, in the way that the way that we do. It, 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 that's the, the communicator element of, of amateur radio, as opposed to just the technology. Um, I didn't know you were involved with satellites, so that's uh, that, that's great to hear uh, that you are as well, Gareth. And uh, uh, and and uh, thank you for what you're doing this, this evening. Thank you for what you do for Freestar, uh, and great to hear your comments. Um, I'm going to go down the list, if I may, now to. Uh, to John, and John is M6 uh, PPS. Um, John did say he's, he's not a new license. You don't have to be. Uh, not at all. It isn't necessary. The very idea is that uh, people who are experienced may be able to impart some uh, knowledge the same as Gareth has just done. So over to you, John, M6 PPS. This is M7 BYD. Uh, M6 PPS, uh, are you still with us, John? This is M7BYD. It is M7BYD. Nothing heard from John, Mike 6, Papa, Papa Sierra. I'll give him a shout out uh, a little bit later uh, to see if he's rejoined or wants to, well, uh, maybe just wants to put his name into the log, which is fine because we do have your name. I'll give you another shout out later, though, John. I'm um, going to go down to. Uh, uh, our friend Mick, who's uh, an absolute regular on the M7 uh, new license net, um, he's experienced and in, in, in part a, a lot of good knowledge. No, it's good to have a QSO uh, with you, Mick. So, how you doing, mate? I hope you're good. I hope you had a good Christmas. What really got got the, the the boat going for you, mate? So over to you, M6 CMG. This is M7 BYD. M7BYD in the group, M6 CMG returning. Yeah, good evening, Keith. I hope you're well. I hope you've had a cracking Christmas. As uh, anyone who's listening, I hope you've all had a great Christmas. I had a fairly quiet one as such. Uh, spent a couple of days at my mum's. Me and my son spent a couple of days with her. Uh, I've come back about two stone heavier. Uh, whenever our plate was empty, it was, if you had enough, can I fill you up even more? Hi, hi. And uh, the drinks were free-flowing as well from us, so uh, pretty quiet, but uh, I'm about two stone heavier, I think. I'll just take a bit. M6 CMG turning. Got me interested in, uh, in Amradio. Well, it's a bit of a long story, really. I came across it by accident, so to speak. Uh, when I was uh, living up uh, the neck of the woods, Keith, I was uh, living in Newton Aycliffe, and me and my mate decided to have a go uh, being self-employed taxi drivers. And we each got a little 80-channel UK and European uh, frequency CBs. And we sat on the rank one day, and on the SEPT channels, the European channels, um, we were talking to each other and I, th I think it was a French bloke broke in. I wondered, what the hell's going on here? And 
so we got talking with him, and then more and more European started sparking an interest. And then when we was on the UK legal forces, uh, we heard noises. We couldn't make them out. And uh, we asked questions, and we were told, oh, they're um, 27 triple fives. They're um, not legal. They're um, in around, but it's not legal frequencies. So um, we gave that a go. I'll just take a pick. We gave that a go, and I got quite into it. Really did enjoy it. But uh, things went south there, and... I moved back home down to Lincoln and totally forgot forgot all about it. And then a mate who um, is an amateur mentioned to me about um, one of the local club <coughs> excuse me one of the local clubs doing amateur radio classes. And so I thought, hey, yeah, I'll give that a go. I used to enjoy it, so I'll give it a go again. And uh, all the extra fre- frequencies that come with it and everything. And apart from having a time off from amateur when I uh, passed, I thoroughly en- enjoyed my experience on amateur radio. So that's really my history, how I got into amateur radio, Keith. 7 BYD M6 CMG. M6 CMG, this is M7 BYD. Thank you, Mick. Thanks for your contribution. Um, I'm like hearing all the uh, information that, uh, um, that I had no idea of before. That's just me being nosy, which uh, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I, like, I like learning things about uh, how people discover various elements of, of, of this amazing hobby. So, um, yeah, I know what you mean as far as overeating is concerned. And, uh, yeah, I think it, from what you are describing, if you put the pair of us on, on a set of scales, uh, we might have to go to a Weybridge, mate. Um, so it's, it's just one of the things of Christmas that uh, I'm not knocking it because it's, it's fantastic. Um, <laughs> I've got to get rid of some of those, no question. Um, yeah, new Nate Clippers and, and uh, operating taxis. Um, I didn't know that you, you did that, mate. Um, uh, so, so, so near to us as well. When I say us, I'm talking about my QTH, my home QTH. Um, and you mentioned CB radio. How many of us have uh, been involved in CB radio at, uh, at various levels? Um, I, I certainly did right at the beginning, many moons ago, uh, from the late, seven, yes, late 70s um, and, and, and onwards. So I've seen all, all elements of CB radio. Um, but I'd always been involved with, uh, with, amateur, with, sorry, with radio communications, not amateur radio. Um, and I was an SWL for quite uh, quite a long time, but I used to work for the post office, and the post office were the regulators of uh, uh, radio communications at the time. Um, and I used to used to repair them in the post office whilst working for their telecommunications section. Um, it's a fascinating hobby, and uh, I I, uh, I can understand your fascination as well, mate. Uh, thank you for coming back to me, mate. I appreciate it as always. Um, so right now I am at the uh, the bottom of the list. I'm going to give John another quick shout out, and then I'll take more chickens if I may. Um, if there aren't any more uh, newly licensed uh, uh, or foundation licensed operators who would like to call in, um, then I will open it for for everybody else. So I'll give John a quick shout out. M6 PPS. This is M7 BYD standing by. Mike, Mike, seven, whiskey, alpha, bravo. Mike, Mike, seven, whiskey, alpha, bravo. Paul, in your shot. Mike, Mike, seven, whiskey, alpha, bravo, uh, M7BYD. Good evening to Harry Paul. Um, I'm grateful you've, uh, you, you've, uh, you've joined in this evening. Another massive contributor to, uh, to Freestar and supporter of the Freestar Network. Um, also, we uh, um, a, a good communicator and well technology orientated. So it's good of you to uh, to call in, Paul. How are you, mate? I hope you are good. I really do. Um, and I uh, I look forward to hearing uh, what you've got to say. Um, it's 
um, it, it's uh, something that uh, seems to be uh, it's sort of inspiring people to come out with uh, all manners of good detail. So over to you, Paul, if I may, M M7, WAB, this is M7, BYD. I'm Mike, Mike Seven, Whiskey Alpha Bravo, Harry Paul, returning to the net there. Very good evening to you there, sir. And uh, yeah, Merry Christmas uh, to everybody. Hope you're all having a good festive season. But uh, I don't know, to me, one of the special things that I've noticed, uh, especially this time of year, you know, everyone's encouraged to uh, sort of think of their friends and their f friends, family, and loved ones uh, uh, that are far away. And uh, yeah. You know, I've seen a bit of activity. Um, it's pretty good, but uh, I, I think with the Freestar Network bringing in connections from so many different other networks and technologies just brings it all together and makes it that bit more inclusive uh, for everyone to sort of dive in and have some fun with. So it's a great thing, and uh, yes, it's its first birthday. So uh, a happy birthday to the Freestar Network as well. And uh, long may it continue, and uh, long may it serve uh, uh, its purposes here, uh, bringing everyone together. Let's hope it uh, carries on. Back over to you, sir, from Mike Mike 7 with the Alpha Bravo, Harry Paul, up a, a rather cold and drafty hill in Scotland. <laughs> Thank you, Mike 7, WID, M7 BYD. Not up a hill again, Paul. Wow. I think you must have been up all of the hills, and uh, most of the hills <laughs> around have had an antenna of sorts, or whatever sort that you possess uh, somewhere. <laughs> um, you you, you uh, like um, making s some areas that are challenging uh, something that, uh, that satisfies your requirement when it comes to amateur radio. So um, You're right, absolutely, it is inclusive. Uh, the, the method of communicating now uh, with all of the digital modes, and uh, especially the, the amazing network, which is Freestar, enables us to speak with, uh, with, with so many uh, nations now. It's, uh, it, 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 it is quite brilliant. And the, the word inclusive is, is, is positive and very true, very true indeed, Paul. Uh, I'm grateful you've come, uh, come back to me, um, and thank you for joining in uh, the net this evening. Um, so I, I, once again, I'm grateful. Um, I'm going to, I think now, uh, open the net up to uh, any license, uh, uh, any, any grade of license who would like to join in the uh, Freestar Network and um, give, impart some knowledge or encourage people or spread a nice message, uh, however you would like to do that. Um, tell me how you are, please. I'd like to know, uh, did you have a good Christmas? And also, uh, what was the main key inspiration that really got you uh, excited and involved with uh, amateur radio. So I look forward to taking more calls if I may. This is M7BYD standing by. Kilo Oscar 4 Uniform Mike Quebec. Kilo Oscar 4 Uniform Mike Quebec. Net Control, please copy N3 and TV. November 3, November Tango Victor, David, Mobridge, South Dakota. Mike 7, Lima, Delta, Romeo. Mike 7, Lima, Delta, Romeo. Liam in Nottingham. Okay, this is M7BYD. Um, acknowledging into the log this evening, uh, Kilo Oscar 4, Uniform Mike... Um, uh, uh, let, me, let me get this, get this right now. A uh, uniform Mike Quebec, I apologize. Um, sorry, Raymond, I apologize. And then uh, uh, N3NTV, and that's David. And we also have uh, uh, M7LDR Liam, who's in, uh, in Nassau. Um, so I'm going to go to the top of the list um, on this second And uh, if uh, everybody's heard the, the topic this evening, um, I would love to hear how you are. Um, have you had a great Christmas? I certainly hope that you have and thoroughly enjoyed the festivities. Um, and what sparked that interest in amateur radio? How did you become involved? I'd like to know that as well, please. 
I will go to the top of the list, and uh, that is K04UMQ, and that's Raymond. This is M7BYD. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I'm doing fine. I like to be called Woody. That's W-O-O-D-Y. Um, I'm in Harlan County, Kentucky, over here in the U.S. I uh, had a good Christmas. I got the uh, uh, manual to study for my general license to upgrade from a technician. I just I just got my technician license last no or back in November, so I'm a I'm pretty new ham. Um, I got interested in this when I was a kid um, with the CB radios, and uh, interest in ham just kind of grew into into actually. Uh, Getting my license some what just recently here. Um, I'm 56, so it took me a while to get it. Well, the biggest thing I was interested in was the emergency communications, but um, I have learned so much and and uh, found out so many different things that's available, and I'm really enjoying it. Uh, back to you, KO4 UMQ. KO4 UMQ. Uh, this is M7BYD. Um, yeah, all noted. Thank you, Woody. Um, I've, uh, I've corrected my, my log here. Um, uh, good to hear what you just said. When you first uh, join in, become involved in amateur radio, sometimes it's a case of you don't know, you don't know. And that's a, that's a phrase that describes um, that you uh, are interested in a certain element, but you don't know what is available. And it opens up a, a complete host of various activities and methods of communicating throughout the world. So you learn as you're going along, and that's what this hobby is all about. And that's what life's all about. You get the opportunity to uh, enjoy the technology that's provided uh, by so many wonderful people. Um, I'm talking uh, particularly now who, uh, uh, to the gentleman who, who started the Freestyle Network for the birthday, the first birthday this week. Um, it, it opens uh, a, a, a massive... Uh, arena of methods of communicating. So, uh, thank you for calling in. Um, interested in in, uh, in, in CB, um, going from your technician to to your full. Um, that that that's brilliant, Woody. Uh, and all, all more power to your elbow. Uh, uh, so, uh, KO4 UMQ. Uh, this is M7BYD. I'm going to pass down to the next uh, caller on the list, and that is N3. Uh, uh, N T V and that's David. Um, good evening, David. How are you? And uh, how did you become interested in, in this wonderful hobby of amateur radio? M seven B Y D. Well, first of all, Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh, I'm on day late. Uh, how have I become interested? Uh, well, I'm Canadian by birth. I have, a, I have an uncle in Nova Scotia who's a ham operator and a cousin in Montreal who's a ham operator. And actually they both put me on their stations. Those third, well, I didn't understand what third party was back then, but the uncle's house, I got to talk to someone in Africa, I think. But it was at my cousin's house in Montreal. He left the, the, the voice operator switch on and I started talking, the thing, everything started chattering, so he came back and identified himself at the time. His call sign was VE2YU. So, he did that, and the guy who he, he came back to him was in a yacht in the Gulf of Mexico. And I said, this is cool. Fast forward to the mid-70s, and I had shortwave radios and scanners, and I finally bought a CD. Then finally in 92, I got my tech license, and a good friend of mine, within a year or two, uh, got me involved with Amateur TV. I still have all that equipment, but where I live now, it's, I'm, I am the only ticket in town. There's another ticket in the uh, 16 miles away from me, but he's he's I think strictly CW, and that's not something I really care about. But yep, this month is my 29th year as a ham operator, and tomorrow is 22 years since I did a TV interview, which I'll be posting on my Facebook page. But you have to go to YouTube and look up N3N TV with a date of 1-10-15. You'll see my ugly smug uh, 22 years ago. Hi hi. But that's how I've been doing it, and I still love the hobby. N3 NTV, back to net. N3 NTV, this is M7BYD, net control. 
Um, thank you very much, David. Um, Canadian by birth. Um, it sounds like you have um, achieved many uh, many contacts. I like what you said about uh, um, the, the. It sounds like you're using the box switch. So uh, uh, you, you spoke and it activated the TX and, and away you went. <laughs> it last, that's that's what happens um, if it's le if it's left in that particular position. Um, but you like what you heard, and that can be an inspiration. The fact you communicated with a, uh, a yacht, um, that's got to be fascinating, uh, because maritime as well, um, depending on what license, uh, license level you hold, um, we are not allowed in the UK to communicate with uh, a vessel uh, at sea um, as uh, um, foundation license holders. Um, so that, that's something a, a lot further down the log, so to speak. Um, involved in 29 years, that's a long, long time. Um, so you've, you've obviously contributed to uh, 92 you've got your tech. I know what you mean about CW, it's not everybody's bag. It's not mine, but uh, uh, those who are capable and have seen and, uh, and heard those who can communicate rapidly in that mode, uh, I, I'm fascinated, but I haven't got the capability. Uh, thank you for calling me, David. Um, I'm very grateful. And you're always very welcome to join uh, this net if you're passing by. And uh, it's every Sunday, uh, commencing at uh, um, 8.30 uh, UTC. Uh, so please feel free if you want to again. Um, I'm going to go down the log now to, to, to Liam. And Liam is M7LDR. Um, and I would love to hear how you are, um, what interested you in ham radio to to, to start with Liam. So over to you, uh, M7LDR, this is M7BYD. M7LDR to the group. Evening everyone. I'm quite well. I've just, uh, I, I put my uh, call sign in to go on the list while I was at my partner's house just leaving and I've jogged my way back down to mine just as you got to me on the list, so that's all good. It sounds like I'm slightly out of breath, it's because I am. Um, what well, got me into amateur radio? Uh, the first time round, it was a letter from the scouts, some of the uh, leaders in another group, uh, Second Arnold, um, put on a amateur radio course to the foundation license and I must have thought that sounds like good fun so I signed up for it with a couple of others from my unit when I managed to pass the day um, and then more recently to get my M7 call after that one had lapsed um, it was my other hobby race marshalling we all have our little Baofeng scanners that we use to listen in to the uh, race control radios um, and I remembered that I had had an amateur radio license and so decided I'll get qualified again and I'll make use of the little scanner probably thought I'd take it to races and to see if there was anyone else who'd decided to get their license and have a chat between posts and now I find myself merrily chatting with folk from all over the world. <sighs> Back to you, Net Control from M7 LDR. M7 LDR, M7 BYD. Um, you do, forgive me, you do sound a little bit out of breath, and uh, um, thank you for, for making it. You, you hit, you've hit the post just at the right time. <laughs> You, you, you managed to uh, to get in and get through, so you're more than welcome. Always good to, to hear you, Liam. And uh, yeah, that sometimes it can be cross hobbies. One hobby can involve in in something else. Um, I am familiar with uh, in in boat handling of using uh, uh, VH, VHF equipment to uh, to communicate with uh, coast guards, etc. Um, and that you, just using something like that, it can. Uh, uh, bring an interest, how, how can you communicate that distance from whatever it is or wherever you are. Um, and race marshalling is, is just absolutely perfect. Um, it's, it, it, you already had the handheld, you've already experienced that element of it. 
and you just wanted to go that bit further, where now you can communicate with people uh, all over the world. Uh, thank you for coming into the next. Uh, as always, Liam, uh, your contribution is more is more than uh, uh, greatly received. So thank you once again. I uh, have reached the bottom of this list, so I'm going to ask again if there are uh, any more uh, check-ins on the third round um, to the M7 new license net on the Freestyle Network. If you'd like to call in, please do so now. Mike 7, Whiskey Lima Hotel. I'm Mike 7, uh, Whiskey Lima uh, Hotel. This is uh, uh, M7BYD. Very good evening to you, Wayne. Um, I don't think we've, uh, we've come before. If we if we have, I apologise, uh, and I'll sort this off out later. Um, but um, I'd love to hear how you are. Um, nice of you to join in this evening, and uh, I look forward to your contribution. Hope you're very well, my friend. And also, um, could you tell me what really inspired you uh, to become involved in uh, in, uh, in uh, an amateur radio. Uh, become, an operator, become an operator for me yourself. Over to you, Wayne. Uh, M7 WLH, this is M7 BYD. WLH returning. Uh, I'll just have a quick check on your call sign, if you don't mind. Uh, was it M7 BYD? Uh, Bravo, Yankee Delta. Um, right, operator name here is Wayne. Uh, my inspiration or my reason for getting into amateur radio, uh, we had a half-term trip with the family down to Bletchley Park, and it was actually my uh, my lad, M7HJH, who uh, took an interest in the RSGB radio centre, and uh, it sort of went from there, and we found our local club. Amateur Radio Society, so that's my QTH as well. And um, yeah, we uh, we went there and uh, got licensed, etc. So uh, I'll pass that back to you. Then. So uh, M7BYD is M7WLH. M7WLH. This is Mike Seven. Bravo, Yankee Delta. Yes, you did get that uh, correctly, Wayne. By, uh, by all means, that's uh, that, that's fine. Um, Bletchley Park. Wow. Um, you know, I still haven't been there, and uh, that's a bit embarrassing to say that, um, because anything like that is, a, is of great interest to me, of great historical uh, interest, and um, it, it, it's, it's a huge part of, uh, of amateur radio. So fascinating to hear that uh, both you and uh, your son, as I gather, uh, uh, both became licensed, so it's keeping it in the family. Uh, you can both communicate whenever you uh, um, would, would like to uh, throughout throughout the world. So, um, how long have you had your license? Uh, perhaps you could tell me that way. And back to you, M7 WLH. This is M7 BYD. M7 WLH returning to the group. Uh, yes, I. Uh Oh, let me think. I think it was March 2020. It was just before we had the first ever, ever lockdown. Um, we did our exam as everybody was getting a bit busy, and um, I got, we got our call sign to come through, and then I think we were locked down before we actually had a chance to uh, use it properly. So I think we had our first QSO with somebody other than one another on um, on the club net, which we uh, which we started because we couldn't actually make in person. So yeah, I've been uh, is that two years now? Is it or getting on for two years? I've been licensed for, and we bought the intermediate book about twelve months ago, and uh, I've looked at it, put it away, looked at it, and put it away, and um, I've looked at it again and. Decided I need to do a bit of electronic revision before I uh, continue any further, but that's all in for the new year. Um, M7WLH to M7BYD. M7WLH, this is M7BYD, net control. 
thank you, Wayne. Yes, it's, uh, I know what you mean by that. It, it, everything was curtailed. There's no question. Everything was uh, everything was put down during lockdown. The very first one. Um, the very nature. It stopped so much activity. Um, but yeah, I, uh, uh, I, I, I I'm, I'm pleased that you both got your license together. You can communicate communicate as a family, and also you can get out where, wherever you wish. So. Um, thank you for joining the net this evening. Um, uh, experienced people, uh, even if they are uh, a foundation license, experience always matters and helps others who haven't yet uh, been able to pick the mic up because uh, they might have got the qualification but uh, haven't quite got the confidence and we want to bring that out in people. Uh, we really do want to excite people into, into joining in and, and having a natter with us as well, a good old chin wag. Um, thank you very much, Wayne. Um, so, uh, M7WLH, this is M7BYD. I've come to uh, the bottom of the list again. I'll give another shout-out, if I may, uh, to any other uh, station who would like to call in on the uh, M7 uh, newly licensed net um, and uh, tell us uh, how you are and uh, what inspired you into the hobby uh, of amateur radio. I'd love to hear anybody else out there um, who would like to contribute and help those who are struggling a bit or, or don't want to uh, communicate just yet. So, um, down to uh, the bottom of the list, I'll shout out again, uh, if I may. Uh, any more check-ins, please? This is M7BYD. Mike Zero, Tango, Zulu, Romeo. M Zero, TZR, Paul in County Down. Whiskey 2, Juliet Lima Delta, W2 Jumbo Lobster Dinner. Net Control, this is Golf Mike Zero Uniform, Uniform Bravo, GM Zero, UUB is Graham here in Dunkeld, Central Scotland. Okay, Net uh, recognizes uh, M0 TZR, uh, Paul. Good evening, Paul. Um, W2, uh, JLD, uh, Jumbo Lobster Dinner. Liking the sound of that? Good evening, John. Uh, and to you also, Graham, very good evening. Uh, GM0, UUV, uh, from the IRN KB1 Multimode Net. Uh, sometimes dual control with his good lady, Helen. Um, so I'm going to go to the top of this list, if I may, and uh, look forward to hearing... What you've got to say, Paul, thank you so much for checking in. Uh, I'm grateful. Look forward to, to your net as well because the uh, TZR, I'll get it out yet, TZR net um, will be taking place on the Freestar Network as well. And uh, I'd like to participate in, in your net too. Uh, how are you doing, Paul? Um, are you well? Have a great Christmas. I sincerely hope you did. And uh, yeah, what inspired you initially uh, to um, become part of this great hobby of, of amateur radio. Uh, over to you, Paul, M0TZR. This is M7BYD. M7BYD, this is M0TZR. Yeah, good evening, Keith. Thank you very much for calling me in. Uh, fantastic net and great topic um, you've got this evening. Um, all good this end, had a nice Christmas, family round, and uh, it's been a nice couple of days, so um, as a few have said, uh, probably getting ready to uh, to get out, uh, a little bit cabin fever at the moment, so yeah, all good this side. Um, right, what got me into the uh, hobby, or my first experience of radio, I um, can't exactly remember the year, but it was around about 1980. I'll have, I'll have been about six or seven year old, something like that. A uh, family friend had a John Clare's uh, special Capri, and had a CB radio in it. And I remember getting, at the time, a couple of overs with somebody I can't remember. Um, so that was my first taste of... of of communication uh, over the airwaves, and I was absolutely hooked from then. Um, so, um, and I, you know, I can remember just wanting one. 
fast forward a little to um, the mid 80s um, when I was say, in early teens, just or you know maybe 10, 11, 12 year old, something like that. I got my first CB radio for Christmas, and uh, from then I was absolutely hooked. I'll just take a pip. This is MZ Raw T's that are returning, yeah. So uh, CB radio, and uh, I had CB radio through my teens into my early 20s, sort of driving around in the car and all the rest of it. You know, um, mobile and that. Now I really enjoyed it. Got it the X in quite heavily. Somebody mentioned um, on the, the treble five and stuff like that. So yeah, a bit of free band and as it was uh, as it was known. And and always dabbled in and out of scanners and bits and pieces like that um, over the, the years. And um, being in the motor trade, you get to know quite a few people. And I did meet up with a local amateur who knew I was interested in radio, and it was round about oh, early 2000s, 2003, I remember him coming to visit me and saying, oh, they've relaxed the way they license in ham radio now, and there's a course uh, running at one of the local clubs. I literally didn't have a clue what he was talking about, so I went along and I sat the foundation course, and uh, I managed to gain my M3 license, so... That's, um, and the rest, as they say, is history. So, I was been into radio, I was been uh, fascinated where my, uh, where my signal's going. Uh, just take a small pip and I'll be back with another little bit of a short over. This is MZ Raw TZR. Returning, yeah. So, that was the, that's the, uh, anyway, and might as well round it off. So, I've got my foundation licence. I didn't do a lot with it in the early 2000s. Fast forward to 2016, got back involved with radio, um, joined the Portland uh, Radio Amateurs Club, and the rest is history. I then got the uh, the intermediate license, then uh, I sat the full, um, and I've been a full license holder probably about three or so years. So, uh, so and uh, yeah, thanks for the little plug on the uh, the net. So if you don't mind, I'll just uh, give a little bit more detail. Um, any station that's listening, if, you, uh, if you've got nothing to do, uh, tomorrow, Monday the 27th, uh, 15.30 UTC, please join me for the TZR net. Uh, one of the Christmas pop-up nets. Uh, there's, there's one every afternoon. There's also multiple nets, so please take a look on the freestar.network website. With that, uh, Kate, fantastic net. Uh, pleasure to be a part of it. Season screens to yourself and everybody else taking part in the net. And uh, I'll be uh, listening to the rest of it. M7BYD, this is M0 TZR. M0 TZR, M7BYD. Thank you, Paul. Thank you for coming into the, uh, uh, the, the net this evening. Um, yeah, do I not remember the John Player uh, Capri? It was the, uh, the, the, black, the black and gold one, if, uh, if my memory serves me correctly, and uh, it looked the absolute business. I um, don't know what you had on that at the time. Maybe it was a DV27 or something like that. But uh, Well, seven years old, not you, I should say, but uh, wh whoever had the motor car would have had an antenna of that uh, description, I imagine. Uh, but yeah, CB radio was absolutely fantastic. Um, I, got, I got interested in electronics very well, fairly young. Uh, built a, a valve audio amplifier when I was uh, when I was ten, and I absolutely uh, loved how uh, you, you could make a small signal turn into a large one. Just amplification, uh, it, it, it fascinated me um, how it was done because uh, all valve in those days, and that was. Uh, that, that was that was uh, really what got me going uh, uh, as well. Um, I know I know what you mean about free bands too. Um, ways of trying things out. Uh, try before you buy if you like, and that uh, um, made you go on to become uh, the the amateur that you are today because you then got your intermediates and of course your full license uh, as well. Uh, always good to talk with you um, on a Thursday evening when we meet up at. Uh, Bishop Auckland Radio Amateurs Club, uh, which we're both um, members. 
So uh, thank you once again for coming into the net this evening, Paul. Uh, good luck with your own net. No, I'm sure it'll be fantastic uh, because you're because you're hosting it. Uh, uh, also, uh, se season's greetings reciprocated, and thank you for saying so, Paul. Um, I'm going to go down the list now, if I may. I'm going to go to W2 uh, JLD. Um, that, that's it, that's it. That, what, <laughs> the way you pronounced uh, JLD was fascinating. Good evening, John. Uh, W2 JLD. This is M7 BYD. 7BYD, M7BYD, this is Whiskey 2 Jumbo Lobster Dinner. John here at Rochester, New York, southern tip of Lake Ontario. I'm 60 miles east of Buffalo, New York. Good to hear everybody out there on Boxing Day. And uh, we're just kicking back, enjoying a cup of coffee, uh, just watching the Buffalo Bills play the New England Patriots. It looks like they're going to win that game, which is really good for the Buffalo Bills. And what else we got going on? We're about uh, 37, about 37 minutes away from the uh, Sunday edition of the Raspberry Pi Net on the Ross Dash Ham Radio Network on the uh, Echo Link Conference, no number 531091. Of course, this being the very last Sunday in December, uh, we're going to have ourselves a little tribute net. You know, it takes a lot to put a, a net on every single Sunday, have content have people check in every week, make sure people don't get bored. Um, so the people that check in really make the net, and the same thing goes for this net because uh, I tell you something, this net has definitely found its niche in amateur radio, and I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of this. And uh, getting back to the question about, you know, what inspired me, well, you know, i got to say this. When I uh, got into ham radio, I never, to, I never expected to be in this hobby uh, um, I, I went in head over heels. I went in head over heels. Uh, in 2021, I've definitely spent a few ducats on some equipment. Um, you know, hearing the folks out there on, um, you know, CB radio, that kind of inspired me. But I guess that the really thing that inspired me was around 2015, uh, 2014. I was listening to a major IRLP reflector, and I was just blown away at people checking into the net, people coming in from all over the world, and you know, I just love that. I, I definitely have the gift of gab, and a lot of folks say that I have a great voice for radio. So I kind of, I kind of feel at home. So um, it's a great hobby to be in, and um, yeah. So other than that, we're going to kick back, listen to the net, and uh, I look forward to uh, hosting the Sunday edition of the Raspberry Pi Net in 35 minutes. So uh, hopefully, we get a lot of check-ins and got a lot to talk about, a lot of review, and just spend a great afternoon. Uh, uh, drinking a cup of coffee and eating some pie. W2JLD, back to net control. W2JLD, uh, M7BYD. <laughs> Thank you very much, John. Uh, absolutely, I really do like that. Jum jumbo lobster dinner. Um, yeah, so, uh, that, is a, that is a good one. Um, yeah, the, the, the raspberry pie uh, net has been going for uh, a little and yes, you know also when it comes to uh, uh, monitoring the net, getting it, people interested, uh, finding, finding topics that uh, uh, sometimes may be controversial, sometimes they're quite simple, something to try and inspire people and encourage, uh, in my case, uh, on this net, uh, newly licensed people who uh, may be listening in the background and one day they'll actually join in and, and push the, push the, 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 the PTT. So, um, Yes, I, I've, I've been told that I, uh, um, I, I, I have a good face for radio, so um, that's, that's slightly different, of course. Uh, I'd like a good voice for one. <laughs> thank you for coming into this net, and thank you for your kind words. Um, you're, you're, you're more than welcome to, uh, to call in at any time, John, and I wish you uh, all the very best with the, with the Raspberry Pi net, too. Um, I'm going to go further down the list now, uh, if I may. Uh, I, I bid you farewell, uh, John. I'm going to go down to uh, Graham now. And Graham is the uh, GM0UUB. And Graham is, of course, one of the uh, main hosts of the IRN uh, KB1 multimode net, uh, which I also thoroughly enjoy and like to, to check into uh, as well. So I look forward to hearing what you have to say, Graham. I hope you're well, my friend. I hope you had a, 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 a Christmas. Uh, you with your good lady Helen, um, Queen, Helen Queen of uh, Scotland. Um, I'm, sh I'm sure you'll have a great time. I saw the pajamas. 
And uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Sorry to bring it up. Uh, it, was, it was unpopular when it was raised on your net. Um, by you, that is. It was quite popular with uh, with Helen, but that's another story. Um, so, yeah, what inspired you? Uh, would you let me know, please? I'd be grateful to hear what you've got to say. Over to you, my friend. It's GM0, UUB. This is M7BYD. M7 BYD. Well, Keith, my friend, thank you, thank you so much for, for uh, taking my check in, that's for sure, and uh, thank you for doing what you do. A Merry Christmas and a very happy Boxing Day to you, Keith, and everybody else that's uh, out there uh, participating on the net or even just listening. Uh, it's good to know that there's uh, the lots and lots of people there, that's for sure. And uh, thanks for bringing up the matching PJs there, uh, Keith. Um, so we'll keep it short, seven threes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm only, only kidding, but um, it's the first year. I think she just caught me at a vulnerable moment there, Keith, and they even got the uh, the pictures up on the Facebook pages. Goodness me, what's going on? The world is going funny. I mean, COVID's bad enough, but matching Christmas PJs, really? I mean, there must there must be a, an injection or some kind of a, a vaccination for that, Keith. <laughs> So we'd never have to return to that situation again. But uh, apparently there's uh, some pressure that we do, and it becomes a tradition that myself and Helen post up pictures of matching PJs. So I don't know, what's worse? COVID. Matching Christmas PJs. COVID. Matching Christmas PJs. I don't know. <laughs> I think there should be a vaccination for both. There you go. And... Um, well, uh, anyway, Keith, I just wanted to jump into your net and just thank you so much for uh, for what you you've been doing on the M7 net, a, a newly licensed net here in Freestar. You, do a, you always do a great job, a friend. Uh, you're so encouraging and uh, so thoughtful, and they uh, bring people in and uh, you know just they uh, share information and uh, it's so relaxed and it's lovely. So uh, so well done, Keith. And uh, may you continue the same. We hope you're going to just carry on doing the same as what you do. 2022. Um, so uh, anyway, well, I'll just take out a, a wee pip. GM0UUB continuing. Um, well, uh, Keith, uh, the, to the question of what got me into and all the rest. Well, I mean, we're going back to the uh, um, early 90s and uh, even well, the well, the 80s when I was on the CB. And uh, I just loved to have, uh, you know, CB. I was just so fascinated by the fact that you could talk to people, um, you know, whether it's in the next street or several streets down or several towns away or the next city or wherever it might be. The fact you could talk to people without using wires was amazing. And, of course, when I was 17 back in the old time, um, got my first car and got the, the CB radio in there, and uh, I just couldn't believe um, why this... I just know every driver wants to have a CB radio in their car. It's just a marvellous thing to have. So um, it's just always been something intriguing to me and uh, uh, fascinating, and I've just so, so much, had so much pleasure out of it. And uh, then, uh, you know, towards the late 80s, early 90s, they uh, got my, uh, you know, the, the, the scanners came out, and we picked them up, and, um, you know, and uh, as I started to listen around, as we do, to all the different things we can listen to at that time especially. Um, and uh, I saw on this uh, 145 uh, megahertz um, an awful lot of activity. And honestly, I was a CB radio operator for many years and didn't realize that the amateur radio community actually existed. And uh, so it was only after listening to so much activity and on two meters in the scanner that I thought, I need to investigate and find out who these guys are. And I realized, hey, there's a ham license you can go and sit. Um, so uh, there we go. I went and did the city and girls, got my B-class license, I believe it was 1992. And there was Golf Mike 7, Mike Papa X-Ray, GM7 Multiplex. And uh, within a, you know, 6 to 12 months, I got the, uh, the Morse uh, code under my belt, so I got my A-class, so that was me being GM0 UUB ever since then, and I uh, absolutely love radio, absolutely love it, I love the uh, the socialising of it, the communication of it, just um, just everything, you know, I'm not, I'm not one of the best tech guys, I have to say, I'm uh, trying to catch up, I've got my hotspots, my all-star nodes, everything else, 
um, but I do rely on a fair bit of help just to get things all set up properly. Um, but um, yeah, I just absolutely love it, um, and I just love the kind of uh, socialising that comes from uh, the communication we can have on the uh, amateur radio, that's for sure. So, uh, so there you go, Keith, uh, pass it back to you. If you have any further questions, then uh, please there ask her. But uh, nothing about... M7BYD. Sorry about that, Keith. I think I timed out towards the end. I thought I just managed to drop before the repeater maybe dropped. But uh, anyway, there you go. Just pass it back to you, sir, from GM0UUB. And uh, if you have any additional questions, that's fine. But uh, nothing about matching PJs, sir. Back to Keith. And thanks again, Keith. GM0UUB. This is M7BYD. Uh, no, I, I, I think I just got the comment in once, and uh, uh, it's, it's a case of you've got to know when to quit. Um, so, yes, I, I, I won't introduce any further. Um, yeah, uh, it, it isn't necessary because the pitch has said it all. Hey, Jai. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of, so many people have became involved with, the, uh, with radio because of CB, and for the same reason. The ability to be able to communicate without any form of wires, uh, through long distances, um, and sometimes you had to work for it. In other words, you had to get different types of antenna if you wanted to go that bit further. Uh, and it, it all became intriguing. And uh, uh, I, I, I can tell your, your enthusiasm. In fact, both, both yourself and your good lady, you and Helen, are both totally enthusiastic, and it shows. It comes over in your net uh, as well, Graham. So... Um, this, this is what Amateur Radio is all about, trying to inspire and encourage people uh, to participate, join in the, in, in, in the various nets. Um, very grateful that you were joined this evening. Um, and uh, also how you uh, went through the various stages and uh, you, you actually got, at the time, it was, it was, it was the full license, um, but without the Morse, then you got the Morse afterwards. So... Um, uh, that's, uh, it's, it's changed a little bit now, but uh, you, you've got the lot. You, you've done it all. You've got the T-shirt. So, well done, sir. Um, we have, once again, reached the bottom of the list. Um, I would like to know if there are any uh, more check-ins, if there are any, more, uh, any, any other people who would like to join me this evening on the M7 newly licensed net on the Freestar Network. Uh, I would love to hear your comments. If you'd like to, please check in now. Kilo India 5, Papa Kilo Romeo, KI5, PKR. Victor, Echo 7, Lima, Echo, Echo. I say again, Victor, Echo 7, Lima, Echo, Echo. Okay, and that recognizes KI5, PKR, that's Joseph, and I have um, VE7, LEE, -E, uh, and, that, and uh, that's Ted. Um, very good evening to you. Uh, if I may, I'll go to, uh, to, to Joseph first of all. Um, is, is it Joseph? Is it Joe? Forgive me for asking, but uh, uh, perhaps you'll, you'll clarify. Um, how are you? And uh, thank you very much for joining this net this evening. Um, and, and also, would you like to participate in the topic, which is uh, what really encouraged you to become involved with, uh, with amateur radio? Um, I'd love to hear your comments, and uh, once again, welcome. So over to KI5 PKR. This is M7BYD. I believe I got that correct, Keith. Uh, M7BYD, is that correct? Roger, Roger. This is uh, Mike Seven Bravo Yankee Delta. Back to you. Roger that, Keith. Uh, I I don't often I I don't I don't know if I've ever talked to this net before, uh, but uh, I appreciate you having me. I appreciate you having the net. Um, and uh, all all is well here. I'm in uh, Claremore, Oklahoma. Um, and the, the, the question, it was funny, uh, I'm an old broadcaster, 
So it's funny when uh, the voice for radio slash face for radio, uh, I, I've always joked that I had a face for radio. And so it made me bring a smile to my face a little bit there. Uh, but, yeah, I'll, I'll comment on the question because it's really interesting to hear. Uh, I I will say that, uh, you know, uh, you, you get to be an older person and you start rediscovering stuff that you liked when you were a kid, but you didn't. You put it on the back burner, right? You, 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 you know, you're raising children, you're doing this, doing that, and you, you, your whole life goes uh, uh, circle back, I guess, is what maybe, I guess, I don't know if that's what you call it. Uh, but I remember in sixth or seventh grade building crystal radio sets, and uh, there was uh, the school didn't really sponsor a radio club, but we had a little before school club and we built uh, crystal radio sets and if anybody wants to look up from the 70s uh, I had a the only thing I had a harvest from uh, an existing machine I had a I kind of had to harvest a tuner and I got it out of a Panasonic loop radio uh, I encourage people on the net to look that up I'll break here for just a moment I had a Panasonic loop radio, and I had to get the tuner out of that sucker. Uh, everything else, uh, the little diodes and everything, and uh, it was a kit, you know, probably Radio Shack or something like that here in the States, but uh, uh, it was fantastic, and I strung a wire, and I got some signal, and, and that was the beginning of it for me, uh, and I was, oh, gee whiz, it was it was before I was 13 years old. I know that for sure. I don't remember how old I was. Uh, and then, much like the gentleman before me, I got into CV radio. My mom had a CV in the car, and she was the silver lady because she had gray hair. And I was the phantom because I didn't have a driver's license. But uh, the same amazement of, of talking to people over radio frequencies, it was just amazing. Uh, and then later, I, I always wanted to be an animator, um, and that didn't work out, but I was, wanted to be creative, so I got into broadcasting, and uh, that was a long, long time ago. And again, circle back, you know, go back all these years, and here all of a sudden I, uh, I got some walkie-talkies, and I started thinking about, well, what if I get my ham radio license? What's that all about? And I have to say, I know I'm talking a lot, I, I'll, I'll stop here, uh, but, uh, you know, I got my uh, technician's license uh, this year, and uh, I've really, really enjoyed it. Great fellowship, a lot of great people, everybody's been awful nice. And so I just look at it that uh, one of my original hobbies as a kid came back and haunted me, <laughs> maybe that's the right word, or or stole money out of my pocket. Uh, well, they didn't. Nobody stole money. I gave it away freely <laughs> to, to get into the hobby. But I've enjoyed it a lot, and I appreciate the net. Appreciate you, Keith M7 BYD. This is KI5 PKR. I'll turn it back over to Net. KI5 PKR. This is M7 BYD. You're more than welcome. Uh, absolutely very welcome to the net uh, this evening. Um, nice to speak with the broadcaster. Um, <laughs> yeah, go, going back to that uh, face for radio, <laughs> such like it's uh, when I heard it the first time. Oh, yeah, it, it, it's still funny now because it's very, very appropriate in my case. Um, uh, so, yeah, crystal radio. Um, my dad made a crystal radio for me uh, when I was, how old would I be about? five or six, and he bought um, a pair of headphones from the uh, war department store um, many, many years ago now, um, and, and uh, he set it all up and put these headphones on on, uh, on their head, and I was just blown away how this little crystal could possibly be doing what it was doing with a long wire attached to it uh, under its own steam, I thought, you know, picking it out of the airwaves, it, 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 it was brilliant. 
that was a source of inspiration uh, definitely uh, for me. And later on, uh, uh, my qualifications became in, in, uh, involved with uh, uh, with radio um, um, uh, as uh, someone who was repairing the equipment for the for the post office, who were the uh, the governing body of radio in, in the UK. But uh, um, Panasonic tuner, wow, <laughs> um, that's uh, that, that sounds like an interesting bit of kit. And if you got uh, you got pleasure out of that, that's good. I know. Um, when it comes to walkie-talkies, walkie-talkies are a good way of communicating. Again, you, you no longer had to rely on the two tin cans and a piece of string, uh, which was my first mobile phone. Um, uh, radio has gone a long way beyond that, and uh, uh, and I appreciate uh, what it's turned into, into now. Um, thank you so much for joining me this evening. You're more than welcome. If you're ever around, this net takes place. It starts at uh, uh, 8.30 UTC. Uh, you're more than welcome to join in. We encourage everyone uh, who may be either newly licensed or the experienced uh, licensed holders uh, to shed some light on what their experiences are and encourage uh, new new amateurs. That's what we want to do all of the time. Um, thank you for joining in. Um, I'm going to go uh, down the list now to Ted. I'm going to go to V7 LEE. Uh, so over to you. This is a Mike 7 Bravo Yankee Delta. Net control, standing by. VE seven L E E, are you still are you still with us, Ted? This is M seven B Y D. Yes, thank you. Correction. Mike seven probably think Delta. Yes, I was on. Uh, I got uh, a few radios going here simultaneously. Uh, the local amateur club is trying out the plus today. You can hear each other spread out. So, for those who don't know where I'm located, I'm located in the island of Lulu. It's called Lulu Island, but we don't like it to call it Lulu because that's what it says on the map. But we're called the city of Richmond now. And we are south of Vancouver. So yes, this is big Vancouver, not the little Vancouver. So there's two Vancouvers. We like the word Vancouver out here. So I'm in the one in Canada. This little Vancouver is down the highway at the uh, the river. What's that river called? Columbia River. Yes, that's where the border was going to go, but we lost the pig war. No, no. It wasn't the Pig War. It was the, uh, oh, Chancellor of Germany that set the border. The 49th parallel. That's the Germany side where the border was. So, anyway, but, yeah, you asked about amateur radio. Here, let me do a reset before I time out my radio. Stand by. Coming out. Okay. I guess I've been in radio, like the other station said, he had a crystal radio, I had one of those, I had one that was shaped like a rocket, and, uh, because uh, back in the 60s, space travel was really important there, so my little crystal radio was the shape of a rocket, it had an extra clamp, clamp on to things that I could pick up, and an earphone. And I pulled out the little antenna, the nose cone of the rocket to uh, tune it in, what I could listen to. So then I dragged it up to uh, this band, and which is uh, called General Radio Service in Canada. Then I learned about amateur radio, and that's cool. They had to learn more code. And so anyway, to make a long story short, I joined the Army at 18 became a military radio operator. After I left the Army, I could have gone, he had a no code license out in Canada in 1970, which I could have followed from the digital amateur. He said, oh, don't do it. Lord Mark Code, get on HF. Because so this was VHF, QHF only. And it was complicated for adults because it was digital. It was easy for me, digital. I've been programming computers since I was 13 years old, 14 years old, something like that, long time ago. I 
was on the internet on the early 70s when the machine was typed by itself because it was a human type at the other end. It was very slow because humans didn't know how to do touch typing on an old machine. Uh, but then I became a radio operator, uh, restricted, because I did have my worst call. BE7LEE, this is M7BYD. Are you still with us, Ted? Back to you. Yes, I am still with you, I forget. My radio has a timeout. Maybe on the holidays I should set it for more than 120 seconds, maybe 140 seconds. But I'm still with you there, so I just did a short brief thing, so I've been involved in amateur radio for the last 30 years or so. On my 7 Bravo Yankee Delta, this is Victor Echo 7, be my Echo back to you. B7 LEE, this is M7 BYD uh, returning. Um, I understand perfectly uh, the, the space race and such like what took place. Um, and, and you actually had uh, a crystal radio in the shape of a rocket. I think together, um, you were saying the nose cone was, I, I couldn't quite gather that, whether it was the, well, that was the antenna uh, or that was, that was how you tuned it, whether the uh, um, the variable tuning capacity was it was was controlled by the uh, the nose tone. Would you clarify that for me? I'll be I'll be uh, grateful, Ted. Back to you, VE7 LEE. This is M7 BYD. Yes, I gotta let you go. My uh, 15 year old daughter just walked uh, from a Boxing Day shopping. I hope everyone got a great Boxing Day. Because like in the UK, here in Canada, we also celebrate Boxing Day. It's a legal holiday. I'm like the poor American. Maybe that's why they shouldn't revolt against King George III. And the, uh, so they would have a Boxing Day holiday. But I'll let you guys go there because I, I get to uh, talk to my daughter. My seven Bravo Yankee Delta is seven hours. V7LEE, this is M7BYD. I understand perfectly. Uh, yeah, family comes first, and uh, um, I hope, uh, hope your daughter as well. Uh, um, and she had a good day, good day out shopping. So um, right now I have reached the bottom of the list. I am conscious of the time. Uh, another net will be starting. So um, I think at this stage um, I'm going to, uh, to have to uh, tie the ribbons, as it were. Um, before I do, uh, of course, I'm going to uh, uh, thank everybody who's been kind enough to call into this net uh, this evening. Please do so again. Um, you're more than welcome. Uh, encourage anybody who can encourage others to join in this great hobby of, of, uh, of amateur radio. Uh, I'm going to extend grateful thanks um, to Gareth. And Gareth is uh, GM0WUR. Uh, He's done a sterling job of uh, net logging uh, for me this evening. Kept me on track, uh, kept me right, and, uh, uh, and, and I'm eternally grateful because I need all the help I can get, believe me. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gareth. Um, so at this stage, I think uh, that I'm going to have to say uh, good night to everybody, um, and I will be closing down the M7 new license net. Uh, and for the time being, I will be standing by. Good night, everyone. And best 73. M7 BYD, this is M0 UKB. M0 UKB, this is M7 BYD. A very good evening to you, Bruce. Uh, nice to hear you. Um, how are you? Would, you? would you like to participate? Would you uh, like to say a uh, a few words, uh, nothing better than having uh, one of the founders of this fantastic Free Star Network to join in the net this evening. Very good evening. Very good evening to you, Bruce. So over to you, M0 UKB. This is M7 BYD. M7 BYD. This is M0 UKB. 
Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I was listening in the background. I didn't want to steal your thunder. And uh, I just want to say I think you're doing a fantastic job. And I want to say Merry Christmas to you. Uh, absolutely excellent, Net. And uh, brilliant. Well done. And, um, yeah, just Merry Christmas to you. And uh, thank you for everything you do every Sunday night here on the network. So uh, I just want to come in and say that and give you those uh, fine comments. And uh, thank you for that. Uh, back to you there, Keith. M7BYD, M0UKB. M0UKB, this is M7BYD. Thank you so much for the kind words, Bruce. And uh, reciprocated once again. All the very best uh, to you and your family. Um, and uh, um, happy birthday to you uh, and uh, your amazing uh, network, um, the Freestyle Network. Uh, it's, it's, it's been, that's been an inspiration. What people should realize is if they have the opportunity to go onto Facebook or they, if they go onto freestyle.network, um, then people will find out exactly what it's all about and how involved uh, uh, it is. So you can have as little or as much as you possibly want. There's every possible way of getting in to communicate with everybody around the world. So thank you once again, Bruce, for your kind words and uh, once again for popping into uh, to this net. All the best, my friend. Um, M0UKB, this is M7BYD. M0UKB returning for the quick one. Yeah, no problem at all there, Keith. And, uh, yeah, thank you very much for your kind words. Um, it is always a pleasure having you on, and everybody else as well that participates and makes this network what it is, because you can have the best technology in the world, but without people, it means nothing. So thank you to yourself, Keith, and everybody else out there, all those people that check into the nets, etc. as well. Uh, without them, it wouldn't be what it is. So, right, no problem. I'll let you go, Keith. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're going to connect up this week, Keith, to the uh, Raspberry Pi net with uh, John, uh, W2JLD. Uh, I know that, um, that we've been connected up to his net before. It's always good fun. And uh, also there's Dave in there as well, who's Declan's dad, that some of you are aware of. So, uh, put it back to you one more final time and then we'll connect up to them. Uh, M7BYD, this is M0UKB. M0UKB, M7BYD. Um, yes, I've, uh, I've, I've listened to you and participated in the, uh, uh, that net uh, myself and I, I welcome them on this evening. Um, nice to speak with John and of course I've spoken with, uh, with, with Dave before. Uh, just on the one occasion, I have to say, uh, and it was fantastic. Um, so, yep, it's going to be good. I have no doubt about it. 73 to you, Bruce, and uh, I'll stand by for when the next net uh, takes place. All the very best to everybody. This is M7BYD. Thank you, Keith.